are. As a National Honor Society member, I um, helped in a lot of food distribution centers, and I noticed the sense of urgency to get people access to healthy foods that they are able to use. And this was our creation of our idea, Food for Growth. With Food for Growth, we decided that we wanted to get people access to healthy foods, but also in, a pla in places that they go to. And that's um, sparked the idea to do it in convenience stores. We're gonna go later into details about that. So we found out that as of 2021, one in eight adults and one in seven children face hunger in Missouri. People facing hunger in Missouri estimated to report needing 490,972,000 more per year to, to meet their food needs. What is our story? Our mission as equity team, our mission as equity team is to help those suffering from food Katie with our nonprofit organization, Food for Growth, and also increase awareness of other organizations helping to combat this issue. There's many organizations out there, but people do not know these organizations. And we're gonna go later into detail because we spoke to elderly, and most of them don't have social media, so they don't have um, access to these information that we young kids might have. Our problem, people are, getting people are not getting access to healthy food items. There's issues of transportation and there's lack of communication with different organizations that are helping to combat these food insecurities like we are doing. So our solution will be to make our own stalls at convenience stores with donation items. People will have to make a minimum purchase of $5 at the convenience store to gain access to two free items of their choice. This concept will not only provide free food, but will also yield higher revenues for the stores. Along with this, we'll have updated flyers with a list of local food distribution centers to combat the issue of communication. This is very beneficial to many elderly who are not on social media and often don't get access to this valuable information. Now, moving on to the people that we interviewed. We interviewed three people, Tylan and his wife and Cindy, at one of our local food pantries called Hope Food Network that is ran by a Baptist church. Their main difficulty was getting access to fruits and vegetables from food pantries and getting access to information about food pantries in the area. Another issue was that the food pantry only allowed them to go 12 times a year, so they were limited on how many times they can go. They also mentioned the food would be close to expiration date when they would get it. They all said that they would benefit from having the ability to get food from convenience stores and gas stations in the area, as it would be easily be reachable and would not have to wait long hours just to get the food that they need. Now moving on to what makes us unique. We are providing more accessible healthy food to places people already go, such as convenience stores and gas stations. And we will yield higher revenues for convenience stores, as customers will have to purchase an item to get a free meal. Now moving on to what we are asking. We will need help fundraising to accumulate food that will later be distributed to those who need it. A space in a convenience store to house these items and help from the community to help spread awareness. We would also further like to build partnership, partnerships with local organizations in the area for food supply and guidance. And just moving on after this slide, you can email us at this email right here if you would like to connect with us and help to reach more people and solve this problem. Thank you. Thank you.